How's it going guys? Welcome back to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to convert multiple add-on cars into um, into a single pack. I'll show you how to do this. Um, so basically you're going to want the vehicle meta merger. So you're going to want to go to this link and I also have another um, application. I have this one. I will link this in the description as well. I'll put all the links in the descriptions for the mods that I used in the program. But I downloaded these mods. So I have the Forerunner RA, the Mustang Mach E, and the Bolide. I accidentally downloaded two mock ease but I'll show you guys how to go ahead and install them so let's get into it so the first thing you want to do is create a new folder call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it car packs um, as I said I will link all the mods and programs in the description and then what you want to do is create a new folder and call it stream and this is where you're going to put all of the streamed files from all of these. I also have the handling for the R8 and the the, um, the Bolide. So this is the handling for the... Uh, I don't know what handling this is for actually, but yeah. I will go ahead and just install the handling stuff later. But in the stream folder, what you'll want to do is go into each mod, go into the 5M section, and in the stream, just drag and drop everything inside of your stream folder. And also, when you go to this page, scroll all the way down till you see the .exe file, download it. Then drag it into a folder and name it whatever you want. And then once you run it, it will create this trunk folder. So just go into each uh, car and drag the stream folders inside. Like I'm doing. So we're going to drag in the Audi R8. And now we're going to drag and drop the forerunner so once you've dragged and dropped all of the all of those in there so I have the bolide the forerunner the maki and the Audi R8 what you're gonna want to do now is open up the vehicles meta merger the one that you put inside of a folder you're going to run it, and you won't have a trunk folder, but once you run the program for the first time, it will create one. So now what you're going to want to do is just drag this somewhere where you can see it, like right here. And you're going to go into each one, but instead of dragging the streams, drag these files inside. I recommend dragging them in one at a time. As you can see, it says merging. As you see, it merged these three files. So now that you have done that, you're going to go down to the Bolide. You're going to drag that in there as well. That's the Bugatti Bolide, not the Bolide from BMG Drive, in case you guys are wondering. Just drag and drop all of those inside of the trunk folder. As you can see, it successfully merged those three for the Bugatti Bolide. Then drag in the R8 files. We're going to drag the car calls in there. Car variations. The, ha the, the handling. And the vehicles.meta. There you go. And now we're going to drop in the Forerunner. Oops, uh, don't drag it onto the actual um, meta merge, just drag it into the trunk folder. 
And now as you can see, it merged all these files. We have three of each. This one has four because there's four files. This one is three. Then what you're going to want to do is very important. Close out. And then what it will do is it'll put all of the files in there. You're going to want to drag these inside of the car packs folder. And then to get the resource Lua folder, I just take it from either the Audi R8 or the Forerunner. I'm going to do it from the R8. Just going to drag and drop it in here. And then once you've done that, close everything. Then go to your 5M directory into resources. And then just drag and drop your car packs in there. <clears throat> if you don't know how to create a 5M server, then go look up a tutorial. It's quite easy. And once you have dragged it in there, you'll go back down to server.cfg. Then you will type in start car pack or whatever you named the folder. I'm going to quickly check to make sure. It was called car packs. I'm just going to rename it to car pack. Start car pack. You're going to save it. Now I have vmenu installed. So what I'm going to quickly do is go into vmenu or it's really called add-on vehicle spawn menu but in reality it's a vmenu. I'm going to go into add-on vehicles.txt and I'm going to add these so that it's ease of access. So under the car pack I'm going to go on the stream. So you have the 4Runner. I'm just going to call it Toyota 4Runner. Then you have the R820. I'm just going to call it the R8. Audi R8 or Audi R8. I don't really know how it's pronounced. I mean, it doesn't matter. Then you have the Mach E, which is the Mustang Mach E. Mustang Mach E. Then you have the Bolide, which will be called the Bugatti Bolide. So once you have done this, what you'll want to do is go back, then start 5M, or start your server. You can just click on the fxserver.exe, the run.cmd, it doesn't matter. Then you're going to go to localhost, you're going to log in, and you're going to start your server. And what I usually like to do is I go back to the CMD window. And what I do is I check to make sure that the resource loaded. As you can see, the car pack resource has loaded. So I'm going to open up 5M. And now I'm just going to log into my server. The server's private, so I'm not going to release it, but you guys can look up a tutorial to make private servers and add on cars. So that is how you would make them into a uh, car pack because the servers only allowed you to put in 50 resources at once and if you just put a bunch of cars inside of a pack then it makes it a lot better so as you can see i do a v menu um if this video gets over 40 likes i will show you guys how to install v menu but if we go to um F5 here, you can see we have the 4Runner. Here it is. The file that we installed, it's working. We have the R8. Then we have the Mustang Mach-E. Which it has no forward power for whatever reason. And then now we'll go to the bolide, the big eye bolide. And that is how you install them and turn them into a car pack, guys. Smash that like button, turn on notifications, get this video to over 40 likes if you want me to show you how to install a V menu. And by the way, everything that I used will be linked in the description. Anyway, guys, peace out.